Hey there, this is Mallory Jones from content.videobox.com and today I'm going to show you how to use a track mat transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is our track mat transition. I can pull it down here for you so you can kind of see what it is. You'll notice that it's just basically a black and white swirly design. It can be any sort of design. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to replace the white with one clip and the black with another. So there's a transition between two clips. You could use it as a dream sequence or something like that. So I'm going to pull our video clip A down to video track 1. And then I'm going to pull our video clip B, which is the one we want to transition to, and I'm going to overlap it on video track 2. Now I'm going to take our track mat transition and line it up with where the transition is going to occur, so where they overlap. So if we scrub over it, you'll notice that still doesn't work. It still has some white. The black is removed, but the white is still there. So we need to add a track mat key to get rid of the white. So we're going over to Video Effects, Keying, Track Mat Key. We're going to apply that to Video Clip B. Now up here in, e in Effect Controls, we're going to Track Mat Key. We're setting the mat to Video Track 3 because that's where our track mat transition is. And the composite mode should be alpha. And now you can obviously see that we have both clips. And there's an alpha channel. So you still need to render this so it plays you know, in real time. Um, but other than that, that's as easy as it is. So if you have any more questions about track mats, make sure to go check out our blog, content.videobox.com. And if you're looking for some stock footage like you see in this example, go to videoblocks.com and sign up for our seven-day free trial. And you can download all types of free stock footage for your next video project. Thanks so much for checking us out, and we'll see you soon.